In fluid dynamics, a senoidal wave is a nonlinear and exact periodic wave solution of the Kortweg de Vries equation. These solutions are in terms of the Jacobi elliptic function Cn, which is why they are coined senoidal waves. They are used to describe surface gravity waves of fairly long wavelength, as compared to the water depth. The senoidal wave solutions were derived by Kortweg and de Vries, in their 1895 paper in which they also propose their dispersive long wave equation, now known as the Kortweg de Vries equation. In the limit of infinite wavelength, the senoidal wave becomes a solitary wave. The Benjamin Boner Mahoney equation has improved short wavelength behavior, as compared to the Kortweg de Vries equation, and is another unidirectional wave equation with senoidal wave solutions. Further, since the Kortweg de Vries equation is an approximation to the Boussinesq equations for the case of one way wave propagation, senoidal waves are approximate solutions to the Boussinesq equations. Senoidal wave solutions can appear in other applications than surface gravity waves as well, for instance to describe ion acoustic waves in plasma physics. Topic. Background Topic. Kortweg de Vries, and Benjamin Boner Mahoney equations The Kortweg de Vries equation, KDV equation, can be used to describe the unidirectional propagation of weakly nonlinear and long waves. Where long wave means, having long wavelengths as compared with the mean water depth of surface gravity waves on a fluid layer. The KDV equation is a dispersive wave equation, including both frequency dispersion and amplitude dispersion effects. In its classical use, the KDV equation is applicable for wavelengths lambda in excess of about five times the average water depth h, so for lambda greater than 5 h, and for the period tau greater than 7 h g display style script style 7 sqrt h per gram with g the strength of the gravitational acceleration. To envisage the position of the KDV equation within the scope of classical wave approximations, it distinguishes itself in the following ways. Kortweg de Vries equation describes the forward propagation of weakly nonlinear and dispersive waves, for long waves with lambda greater than 7h. Shallow water equations are also nonlinear and do have amplitude dispersion, but no frequency dispersion, they are valid for very long waves, lambda greater than 20h. Boussinesq equations have the same range of validity as the KDV equation in the classical form, but allow for wave propagation in arbitrary directions, so not only forward propagating waves. The drawback is that the Boussinesq equations are often more difficult to solve than the KDV equation, and in many applications wave reflections are small and may be neglected. Airy wave theory has full frequency dispersion, so valid for arbitrary depth and wavelength, but is a linear theory without amplitude dispersion, limited to low amplitude waves. Stokes wave theory, a perturbation series approach to the description of weakly nonlinear and dispersive waves, especially successful in deeper water for relative short wavelengths, as compared to the water depth. However, for long waves the Boussinesq approach, as also applied in the KDV equation, is often preferred. This is because in shallow water the Stokes perturbation series needs many terms before convergence towards the solution, due to the peaked crests and long flat troughs of the nonlinear waves. While the KDV or Boussinesq models give good approximations for these long nonlinear waves, the KDV equation can be derived from the Boussinesq equations, but additional assumptions are needed to be able to split off the forward wave propagation. For practical applications, the Benjamin Boner Mahoney equation, BBM equation, is preferable over the KDV equation, a forward propagating model similar to KDV but with much better frequency dispersion behavior at shorter wavelengths. Further improvements in short wave performance can be obtained by starting to derive a one way wave equation from a modern improved Boussinesq model, valid for even shorter wavelengths. Topic senoidal waves The senoidal wave solutions of the KDV equation were presented by Kortweg and de Vries in their 1895 paper, which article is based on the PhD thesis by de Vries in 1894. 
Solitary wave solutions for nonlinear and dispersive long waves had been found earlier by Boussanesk in 1872, and Rayleigh in 1876. The search for these solutions was triggered by the observations of this solitary wave or wave of translation by Russell, both in nature and in laboratory experiments. Senoidal wave solutions of the KDV equation are stable with respect to small perturbations. The surface elevation eta x t as a function of horizontal position x and time t for a senoidal wave is given by eta x t equals eta 2 plus h c n 2 2 k m x minus c t lambda m display style eta x t equals eta underscore 2 plus h operator name c n caret 2 left begin array c c display style 2 K m frac x c t lambda and m end array right where h is the wave height lambda is the wavelength c is the phase speed and eta two is the trough elevation. Further, c n is one of the Jacobi elliptic functions and k m is the complete elliptic integral of the first kind. Both are dependent on the elliptic parameter m. The latter m determines the shape of the senoidal wave. For m equal to 0 the senoidal wave becomes a cosine function, while for values close to 1 the senoidal wave gets peaked crests and, very, flat troughs. For values of m less than 0.95, the senoidal function can be approximated with trigonometric functions. An important dimensionless parameter for nonlinear long waves, lambda h, is the Ursel parameter, u equals h lambda 2 h 3 equals h h lambda h 2. Display style u equals frac h lambda carrot two h carrot three equals frac h h left frac lambda h right carrot two for small values of u, say u third or fifth order. Stokes and senoidal wave theories is in the range 10 to 25 of the Ursel parameter. As can be seen from the formula for the Ursel parameter, for a given relative wave height h, h the Ursel parameter, and thus also the nonlinearity, grows quickly with increasing relative wavelength lambda h. Based on the analysis of the full nonlinear problem of surface gravity waves within potential flow theory, the above senoidal waves can be considered the lowest order term in a perturbation series. Higher order senoidal wave theories remain valid for shorter and more nonlinear waves. A fifth-order senoidal wave theory was developed by Fenton in 1979. A detailed description and comparison of fifth-order Stokes and fifth-order senoidal wave theories is given in the review article by Fenton. Senoidal wave descriptions, through a renormalization, are also well suited to waves on deep water, even infinite water depth, as found by Clamond. A description of the interactions of senoidal waves in shallow water, as found in real seas, has been provided by Osborne in 1994. Topic. Periodic wave solutions Topic. de Vries equation The Courtevade de Vries equation, KDV equation, as used for water waves and in dimensional form, is T eta plus G H X eta plus three two G H eta X eta plus 1 6 h 2 g h x 3 eta equals 0 Display style partial underscore t eta plus sqrt gh partial underscore x eta plus tfrac three two sqrt frac gh eta partial underscore x eta plus tfrac one six h carrot two sqrt gh partial underscore x carrot three eta equals zero, where the senoidal wave solution of the KDV equation is eta x t equals eta 2 plus h 
CN two x minus CT delta M display style eta x T equals eta underscore two plus H operator name CN carrot two left begin array C C display style frac x C T delta and M end array right with H the wave height the difference between crest and trough elevation eta two the trough elevation M the elliptic parameter C the phase speed and CN one of the Jacobi elliptic functions. The trough level a to 2 and width parameter delta can be expressed in terms of h, h and m a to 2 equals h m 1 minus m minus e m k m Display style eta underscore two equals frac h m left one m frac e m k m right and delta equals lambda two k m equals h four three m h h Display style delta equals frac lambda two k m equals h sqrt frac four three frac m h h with k m the complete elliptic integral of the first kind and e m the complete elliptic integral of the second kind. Note that k m and e m are denoted here as a function of the elliptic parameter m and not as a function of the elliptic modulus k, with m equals k two. The wavelength lambda, phase speed c and wave period tau are related to h, h and m by lambda equals h 16 3 m h h k m Display style lambda equals h sqrt frac 16 3 frac m h h k m c equals g h 1 plus h m h 1 minus 1 2 m minus 3 2 e m k m Display style C equals SQRT GH left one plus frac H M H left one frac one two M frac three two frac E M K M right right and Tau equals Lambda C Display style Tau equals frac Lambda C with G the Earth S gravity most often, the known wave parameters are the wave height h, mean water depth h, gravitational acceleration g, and either the wavelength lambda or else the period tau. Then the above relations for lambda, c and tau are used to find the elliptic parameter m. This requires numerical solution by some iterative method. Topic: <laughs> benjamin boner mahoney equation. The benjamin boner mahoney equation, BBM equation, or regularized long wave RLW equation, is in dimensional form given by T eta plus G H X eta plus 3 2 G H eta X Eta minus one six H two T X two Eta equals zero. Display style partial underscore T eta plus SQRT GH partial underscore X eta plus TFRAC three two SQRT frac GH eta partial underscore X eta TFRAC one six H carrot two partial underscore T partial underscore X carrot two eta equals zero. 
all quantities have the same meaning as for the KdV equation. The BBM equation is often preferred over the KdV equation because it has a better short wave behavior. The sinoidal wave solution of the BBM equation, together with the associated relationships for the parameters is eta x t equals eta 2 plus h cn 2 x minus c t delta m eta 2 equals h m 1 minus m minus e m k m delta equals h 4 3 m h h c g h equals lambda 2 k m lambda equals h 16 3 m h h c g h k m c equals g h 1 plus h m h 1 minus 1 2 m minus 3 2 e m k m and tau equals lambda c display style begin aligned eta x t and equals eta underscore two plus h operator name c n carrot two left begin array c c display style frac x c t delta and m end array right eta underscore two and equals frac h m left one m frac e m k m right delta and equals h s q r t frac four three frac m h h frac c s q r T G H and and equals frac lambda two K M lambda and equals H S Q R T frac sixteen three frac M H H frac C S Q R T G H K M C and equals S Q R T G H left one plus frac H M H left one frac one two M frac three two frac E M K M right right and and text and tau and equals frac lambda C end align the only difference with the sinoidal wave solution of the KdV equation is in the equation for the wavelength lambda. For practical applications, usually the water depth h, wave height h, gravitational acceleration g, and either the wavelength lambda, or, most often, the period physics tau are provided. Then the elliptic parameter m has to be determined from the above relations for lambda, c and tau through some iterative method. Topic. Example In this example, a sinoidal wave according to the court vague de Vries KDV equation is considered. The following parameters of the wave are given Mean water depth h equals 5 meters 16 feet. Wave height h equals 3 meters 9.8 feet. Wave period tau equals 7s, and Gravitational acceleration g equals 9.81 meters per square second, 32 feet per square second, instead of the period tau. In other cases, the wavelength lambda may occur as a quantity known beforehand. First, the dimensionless period is computed. Tau g h equals 9.80. Display style tau sqrt frac g h equals 9.80, which is larger than 7, so long enough for sinoidal theory to be valid. The main unknown is the elliptic parameter m. 
This has to be determined in such a way that the wave period tau, as computed from senoidal wave theory for the KdV equation, lambda equals h 16 3 m h h k m display style lambda equals h sqrt frac 16 3 frac m h h k m c equals g h 1 plus h m h 1 minus 1 2 m minus 3 2 e m k m display style c equals sqrt gh left 1 plus frac h m h left 1 frac 1 2 m frac 3 2 frac e m k m right right and tau equals lambda c display style tau equals frac lambda c is consistent with the given value of tau here lambda is the wavelength and c is the phase speed of the wave further km and em are complete elliptic integrals of the first and second kind respectively Searching for the elliptic parameter m can be done by trial and error, or by use of a numerical root-finding algorithm. In this case, starting from an initial guess minute equals 0.99, by trial and error the answer m equals 0.9832 display style m equals 0.9832 is found. Within the process, the wavelength lambda and phase speed c have been computed. Wavelength lambda equals 50.8 meters, 167 feet, and phase speed c equals 7.26 meters per second, 23.8 feet per second. The phase speed c can be compared with its value g h. Display style script style sqrt g h. According to the shallow water equations, C G H equals 1.0376. Display style frac C S Q R T G H equals 1.0376, showing a 3.8% increase due to the effect of nonlinear amplitude dispersion, which wins in this case from the reduction of phase speed by frequency dispersion. Now the wavelength is known, the Ursel number can be computed as well. U equals H lambda 2 H 3 equals 62. Display style U equals frac H lambda carrot 2 H carrot 3 equals 62 which is not small, so linear wave theory is not applicable, but senoidal wave theory is. Finally, the ratio of wavelength to depth is lambda, h. Equals 10.2 greater than 7, again indicating this wave is long enough to be considered as a senoidal wave. Equals Topic. Solitary wave limit Equals for very long nonlinear waves, with the parameter m close to 1, m1, the Jacobi elliptic function cn can be approximated by cn z m approximately equals sec z minus 1 4 1 minus m shine z cosh z minus z than z sec z display style operator name cn left z m right approximately operator name sec z t f r a c 1 4 1 m biggle shine z cosh z z bigger than z operator name sec z with 
sec z equals 1 cosh z display style operator name sec z equals frac 1 cosh z here shine cosh than and sec are hyperbolic functions in the limit m equals 1 cn z m sec z display style operator name cn left z m right to operator name sec z with sec z equals 1 cosh z Further, for the same limit of m1, the complete elliptic integral of the first kind k m goes to infinity, while the complete elliptic integral of the second kind e m goes to 1. This implies that the limiting values of the phase speed c and minimum elevation a to 2 become c equals g h 1 plus 1 2 h H display style c equals sqrt g h left one plus frac one two frac h h right and a to two equals zero display style a to underscore two equals zero. Consequently, in terms of the width parameter delta, the solitary wave solution to both the KDV and BBM equation is a to x t equals h sec 2 x minus c t delta display style a to x t equals h operator name sec caret 2 left frac x c t delta right the width parameter, as found for the senoidal waves and now in the limit m1, is different for the KDV and the BBM equation. But the phase speed of the solitary wave in both equations is the same, for a certain combination of height h and depth h. Topic. Limit of infinitesimal wave height For infinitesimal wave height, the results of senoidal wave theory are expected to converge towards those of airy wave theory for the limit of long waves λh. First the surface elevation, and thereafter the phase speed, of the senoidal waves for infinitesimal wave height will be examined. Topic. Surface elevation For infinitesimal wave height, in the limit m0, the free surface elevation becomes a to x t equals 1 2 h cos theta display style a to x t equals t frac 1 2 h cos theta with theta equals 2 pi she lambda equals 2 pi x minus c t lambda display style theta equals 2 pi frac she lambda equals 2 pi frac x c t lambda so the wave amplitude is one half h half the wave height this is of the same form as studied in airy wave theory, but note that senoidal wave theory is only valid for long waves with their wavelength much longer than the average water depth. Topic. Phase speed The phase speeds for infinitesimal wave height, according to the senoidal wave theories for the KDV equation and BBM equation, are with kappa equals 2 pi, lambda the wave number and kappa h the relative wave number. These phase speeds are in full agreement with the result obtained by directly searching for sine wave solutions of the linearized KDV and BBM equations. As is evident from these equations, the linearized BBM equation has a positive phase speed for all kappa h. 
On the other hand, the phase speed of the linearized KdV equation changes sign for short waves with kappa h greater than 6. Display style script style sqrt 6. This is in conflict with the derivation of the KdV equation as a one-way wave equation. Topic direct derivation from the full inviscid flow equations Senoidal waves can be derived directly from the inviscid, a rotational and incompressible flow equations, and expressed in terms of three invariants of the flow, as shown by Benjamin and Light Hill in their research on undular bores. In a frame of reference moving with the phase speed, in which reference frame the flow becomes a steady flow, the senoidal wave solutions can directly be related to the mass flux, momentum flux and energy head of the flow. Following Benjamin and Light Hill 1954, using a stream function description of this incompressible flow, the horizontal and vertical components of the flow velocity are the spatial derivatives of the stream function psi xi, z, plus z psi and minus xps, in the xi and z direction respectively xi. Topic. X minus court. The vertical coordinate z is positive in the upward direction, opposite to the direction of the gravitational acceleration, and the zero level of z is at the impermeable lower boundary of the fluid domain. While the free surface is at z zeta, xi, note that zeta is the local water depth, related to the surface elevation eta xi, as zeta equals h plus eta with h the mean water depth. In this steady flow, the discharge Q through each vertical cross section is a constant independent of Xi, and because of the horizontal bed also the horizontal momentum flux S, divided by the density ρ, through each vertical cross section is conserved. Further, for this inviscid and a rotational flow, Bernoulli's principle can be applied and has the same Bernoulli constant R everywhere in the flow domain. They are defined as Q equals zero. Zeta Xi Z Psi D Z R equals P Rho plus one two Xi Psi two plus Z Psi two plus Gz and S equals zero zeta she p rho plus z psi two dz. Display style begin aligned q and equals int underscore zero carrot zeta she partial underscore z psi text d z r and equals frac p rho plus t f r a c one two biggle left partial underscore she psi right carrot two plus left partial underscore z psi right carrot two bigger plus g z q quad text and s and equals int underscore zero carrot zeta she left frac P rho plus left partial underscore z psi right carrot to right text d z end aligned for fairly long waves. Assuming the water depth zeta is small compared to the wavelength lambda, the following relation is obtained between the water depth zeta xi and the three invariants q, r, and s. This nonlinear and first order ordinary differential equation has senoidal wave solutions. For very long waves of infinitesimal amplitude on a fluid of depth h and with a uniform flow velocity v, the flow constants are according to the shallow water equations q 0 equals v h display style q underscore 0 equals v h r 0 equals 1 2 v 2 plus g h display style r underscore 0 equals tfrac 1 2 v caret 2 plus g h and s 0 equals v 2 h plus 1 2 G H two 
Display style s underscore zero equals v carrot two h plus t f r a c one two g h carrot two. Equation e can be brought into non-dimensional form by use of the discharge q and gravitational acceleration g, and defining the critical depth h c. H c equals q two g three. Display style h underscore c equals sqrt three frac q caret two g related to the critical flow demarcation between subcritical flow and supercritical flow. See also Froude number. Consequently, the non-dimensional form of the equation is one three zeta tilde two approximately equals minus zeta 3 plus 2 r tilde zeta tilde 2 minus 2 s tilde zeta tilde plus 1 Display style TFRAC one three left tilde zeta right carrot two approximately zeta carrot three plus two tilde R tilde zeta carrot two minus two tilde S tilde zeta plus one with zeta tilde equals zeta H C Display style tilde zeta equals frac zeta h underscore c she tilde equals she h c display style tilde she equals frac she h underscore c r tilde equals r g h c Display style tilde r equals frac r g h underscore c and s tilde equals s g h c two display style tilde s equals frac s g h underscore c caret two Topic. Derivation First eliminate the pressure P from the momentum flux S by use of the Bernoulli equation S equals R zeta minus 1 2 G zeta 2 plus 0 zeta 1 2 z psi 2 minus she psi 2 d z Display style s equals r zeta t f r a c one two g zeta carrot two plus int underscore zero carrot zeta t f r a c one two left left partial underscore z psi right carrot two left partial underscore she psi right carrot two right text d z. The stream function psi is expanded as a Maclaurin series around the bed at z. Topic zero, and using that the impermeable bed is a streamline and the irrotationality of the flow psi zero and z two psi. Topic zero at z zero psi equals z u. B she minus Z three three U B she plus Z five five U 
B I V she plus display style psi equals Z u underscore B she frac Z carrot 3 3 u underscore B she plus frac Z carrot 5 5 u underscore B carrot text IV she plus C dots with up the horizontal velocity at the bed Z equals 0 because the waves are long H lambda only terms up to Z 3 and zeta 3 are retained in the approximations to Q and s the momentum flux s then becomes s equals r zeta minus 1 2 g zeta 2 plus 1 2 zeta u b 2 minus 1 6 zeta 3 u b u b minus 1 6 zeta 3 u b 2 plus Display style s equals r zeta t f r a c one two g zeta carrot two plus t f r a c one two zeta u underscore b carrot two t f r a c one six zeta carrot three u underscore b u underscore b t f r a c one six zeta carrot three left u underscore b right carrot two plus c dots the discharge q becomes since it is the value of the stream function psi at the free surface z equals zeta q equals zeta u b she minus 1 6 zeta 3 u b she plus Display style q equals zeta u underscore b she t f r a c one six zeta carrot three u underscore b she plus c dots. As can be seen, the discharge q is an O zeta quantity. From this, the bed velocity is seen to be u b equals q zeta plus one six zeta 2 u b plus display style u underscore b equals frac q zeta plus t f r a c 1 6 zeta carrot 2 u underscore b plus c dots note that q zeta is an order 1 quantity this relation will be used to replace the bed velocity up by q and zeta in the momentum flux s the following terms can be derived from it u b 2 equals q 2 zeta 2 plus 1 3 zeta q u b plus u b equals minus q zeta zeta plus 1 3 zeta zeta u b plus 1 6 zeta 2 u b plus and u b 2 equals q 2 zeta 4 zeta 2 minus 2 3 q zeta zeta u b 
plus display style begin aligned u underscore b carrot two and equals frac q carrot two zeta carrot two plus tfrac one three zeta q u underscore b plus c dots u underscore b and equals frac q zeta zeta plus tfrac one three zeta zeta u underscore b plus tfrac one six zeta carrot two u underscore b plus c dots q quad text and left u underscore b right carrot two and equals frac q carrot two zeta carrot four left zeta right carrot two tfrac two three frac q zeta zeta u underscore b plus c dots end aligned consequently the momentum flux s becomes again retaining only terms up to proportional to zeta three s approximately equals r zeta minus one two grams zeta two plus one two q two zeta minus one six q two zeta zeta two display style s approximately r zeta tfrac one two g zeta carrot two plus tfrac one two frac q carrot two zeta tfrac one six frac q carrot two zeta left zeta right carrot two which can directly be recast in the form of equation e topic potential energy the potential energy density e pot equals 1 lambda 0 lambda 1 2 rho g eta 2 x t d x Display style E underscore text pot equals frac one lambda int underscore zero carrot lambda TFRAC one two rho G eta carrot two x T text D x with rho the fluid density is one of the infinite number of invariants of the KDV equation. This can be seen by multiplying the KDV equation with the surface elevation eta x t after repeated use of the chain rule the result is T one two eta two plus x one two G H eta two plus one two G H eta three plus one 12 h 2 g h x 2 eta 2 minus 3 x eta 2 equals 0 Display style partial underscore T left TFRAC one two eta carrot two right plus partial underscore x left TFRAC one two SQRT G H eta carrot two plus TFRAC one two SQRT frac G H eta carrot three plus TFRAC one twelve H carrot two SQRT G H left partial underscore x carrot two left eta carrot two right Right minus three left partial underscore x eta right carrot two right right equals zero, which is in conservation form and is an invariant after integration over the interval of periodicity, the wavelength for a sinusoidal wave. The potential energy is not an invariant of the BBM equation, but rho g eta two plus one sixth h two x eta two is first the variance of the surface elevation in a sinusoidal wave is computed. Note that eta two topic minus one lambda zero lambda h c n two she delta m dx c n she delta m cos psi she and lambda equals two delta k m so one lambda zero lambda eta Two D X 
equals 1 lambda 0 lambda eta 2 plus h cn 2 she delta m 2 d she equals h 2 lambda 0 lambda cn 4 she delta m d she minus eta 2 2 equals delta h 2 lambda 0 pi cos 4 psi d she d psi d psi minus eta 2 2 equals h 2 2 k m 0 pi cos 4 psi 1 minus m sin 2 psi d psi minus eta 2 2 equals 1 3 h 2 m 2 2 minus 5 m plus 3 m 2 plus 4 m minus 2 e m K M minus H two meters two one minus M minus E M K M two display style begin aligned frac one lambda int underscore zero carrot lambda eta carrot two text D X and equals frac one lambda int underscore zero carrot lambda left eta underscore two plus H operator name C N carrot two left begin array C C display style frac she delta and M end array right right Carrot two text D she equals frac H carrot two lambda int underscore zero carrot lambda operator name C N carrot four left begin array C C display style frac she delta and M end array right text D she eta underscore two carrot two and equals frac delta H carrot two lambda int underscore zero carrot pi cos carrot four psi frac text D she text D psi Text D psi eta underscore two carrot two equals frac H carrot two two K M int underscore zero carrot pi frac cos carrot four psi SQRT one M sin carrot two psi text D psi eta underscore two carrot two and equals frac one three frac H carrot two M carrot two left left two to five M plus three M carrot two right plus left four M two right Frac E M K M right Frac H carrot two M carrot two left one M Frac E M K M right carrot two end aligned the potential energy, both for the KDV and the BBM equation, is subsequently found to be E pot equals one two rho GH two minus one three M plus two three M one plus one M one minus E M K M minus one M two one minus E M K M 2 
Display style E underscore text pot equals TFRAC one two row G H carrot two left frac one three M plus frac two three M left one plus frac one M right left one frac E M K M right frac one M carrot two left one frac E M K M right carrot two right the infinitesimal wave height limit M0 of the potential energy is epot. Topic 116th row GH2, which is in agreement with airy wave theory. The wave height is twice the amplitude, H. 2A, in the infinitesimal wave limit. Topic. See also Soliton Topic. Notes and references Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>